Well, here's part three. It's not going to be very long because I haven't really done much. We did go out and get this table. It's been really hard finding what I want. It's just not out there. I want two surfaces, 72 inches long each and not any wider, deeper than 20 inches. They'll just take up too much room. So we found this little table. It's four feet by, I think if this is 20 inches deep. And it's about perfect. We might go get two more. And I got a tumbler now, tumbler spinner. I did get this at Hobby Lobby. And I, I wasn't going to do it. I wanted to build my own, but I figured I had to start somewhere. So I might as well do this. And I can give a review on it. I got some transfer tape. I got a bandana in case I decide to use fabric on a tumbler. I got my stir sticks. Oh, that little uh, pencil holders, not part of this project, but I'm sure I'll end up using them. Got some craft paint. My son loves the falcons, so I was going to do something in red and black. Got some brushes. Starting small, I got my smaller box of acrylic epoxy got some Mod Podge got some glitter and a um, the word escapes me now of course what's the silicone the silicone brush and I just realized I did not pick out the mixing cups I'm making a video and I did get my Cricut today. And one roll of vinyl to start. Here is my Cricut. I have not taken her out of the box yet. This is going to be fun. I need to get one thing started. Maybe I'll put together my tumbler spare. Um, so me being really new at this, I do not know how to edit, do special things to my video, like, like fade in and out or, you know, do flip screens and all that. After I've played on YouTube for a while, I'll see what I can figure out. So my videos are going to be kind of novice, very novice. So just bear with me until I can figure things out. And it reminds me, I'm going to have to put cut that down and put it in the closet because we cannot find anything that will support tumbler turners. I would like to use this stand, put it in the closet, and use it for the space where my tumblers would be curing, I will create them out here. And then that way I can shut the door and if one of my turners is making noise or it's just too loud, that would block some of the sound and some of the odor. They would be out of the way, they would be safe, they wouldn't be getting bumped. So that's why I want to have something in that closet, not just for craft items. I wanted it originally to be a place to 
not necessarily hide, but keep tumblers that are still curing safe. And I'm sure this shelf unit is exactly what I need because all of the other shelf units I looked at weren't deep enough to hold a tumbler turner with a cup without it dripping. I know they're not supposed to drip after a certain point, but do we really want to take that chance? So, this is where I'm at right now. It is Sunday the 3rd, and I get to go to work tomorrow and all week. So, hopefully I'll be able to work on this more after work each day since we can't go anywhere. We can't go out. But I'm also looking at some shelving from a hardware store that I would be able to attach to the wall. And that way I would be able to take them to my she shed when I move out there. Okay, hope everybody has a great week. And I will continue updating as I go. Thanks for watching. Bye.